In a discovery that has shocked the world, China has just discovered the largest oil field in human history. This discovery promises to change the dynamics of the global economy and may cement China's position as one of the top economies in the world. Scientists have only recently begun to catalog the life on the ocean floor. Many people are concerned that this new gold rush may devastate the marine ecosystem and other intricate natural systems. Like the mountaintop removal coal mining in Appalachia, deep sea mining might have far-reaching consequences for the Pacific Ocean's environment and biodiversity. Still, the full extent of the damage remains unclear to scientists. Stay tuned until the end of the video to find out the extent of this discovery made by the Chinese, which promises to change the entire planet forever, and please press that like button while you are watching. Like strip mining on land, mining companies want to utilize massive automated machinery to dig up the ocean floor. Large sediment clouds form below the surface of the water when the materials are pushed up to the ship while wastewater and debris are thrown into the sea. The sludge is transferred to barges for transport to land-based processing centers. The worry is that mining in the deep sea will harm delicate marine life. We are challenging projects that threaten marine life, such as the pygmy killer whale, sperm whale, spinner dolphin, cuvier's beaked whale, as well as aquatic birds such as Beck's petrel and Heinroth's shearwater. Clams, mussels, corals, subworms, snails, xenophyophores, the larval supply, essential enzymes, and genetic resources are all directly affected by the loss of life and natural contours on the seafloor at mining sites. These activities are being conducted in an isolated location with limited regulatory monitoring and no public watchdogs. In 2014, the International Seabed Authority authorized seven further seabed exploration permits, increasing the total number of permits awarded worldwide to 26. However, the authority did not anticipate accepting environmental criteria until late 2016. While the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea established a framework for regulating international waterways, some countries, like the United States, have chosen to opt out. Drilling for oil and gas beneath the ocean's surface is widely regarded as unethical. On the other side, there are several reasons to infer that it has a favorable overall impact on the country. Oil extraction can have many positive effects, including advances to the GDP, global stature, and the ecosystem. That is, the country's oil industry continues to get consistent funding. China, which has 61 offshore platforms, has recently unveiled its frightening new oil discovery, which will forever affect the entire world. This finding, made by Chinese experts of the nation's first big offshore and deep stratum gas field, signifies a considerable improvement in the nation's research world. A gas field in the sea to the southeast of Hainan province contains reserves confirmed to be larger than 50 billion cubic meters. China National Offshore Corporation, CNOC, recently announced that the new gas field would be called Baodao 21-1. Here we have a significant breakthrough that will help the Chinese government achieve its goal of advancing deep sea exploration. This is crucial if China wants to remain energy independent. Offshore oil and gas exploration often focuses on areas with deep water, defined as water deeper than 300 meters. Wells with a depth of more than 3,000 meters are also considered deep. Experts suggest that the Baodao 21-1 gas field may be found in the deep sea region southeast of Hainan Island. It can operate at depths of over 1,500 meters and its completion well can reach over 5,000 meters. The Prospects of Deep Sea Mining Over several decades, international leaders have gradually accepted that climate change has come to stay. The business and public agencies have just begun making initiatives that turn rhetoric into reality. The transition from theories to practice presents challenges for agents that were not apparent in the theoretical stage. It is becoming increasingly apparent that the green energy transition cannot happen without more money being put into natural resources. The Geological Survey of Finland GTK, recently published a study analyzing the density of metals needed to make the first generation of electric vehicles and the power stations necessary to store intermittent electricity generated from renewable sources. 
They predict that to meet the demands of just one generation of electric vehicles, about 1.39 billion EVs, more than 280 million tons of minerals and another 2.5 billion tons of metals will be needed for power storage projects. The world's nickel, cobalt, lithium and graphite deposits are considered inadequate to support such a big project. The current realignment of world power will also significantly affect the availability of resources and the ESG characteristics they possess. Indonesia is the leading nickel producer and home to the world's most biodiverse biome. Russia's Nor Nickel operates the world's largest and most cost-effective nickel mine. The Democratic Republic of the Congo DRC, is not only the world's most significant cobalt producer, but also a country with a wide variety of climates, from tropical rainforest to savanna, and a widespread problem with the use of child labor. China mines 64% of the world's graphite, controls a large portion of the DRC's cobalt output, and operates the world's largest refineries for lithium, nickel sulfate, manganese, and graphite. China's Lucky Strike According to Wu Kekyang, chief geologist of CNOC Henan, the discovery of Bao Dao 211 not only proves the Bao Dao SAGS exploration prospect, but also shows that China has made a significant advancement in deepwater subsurface innovation. This is critical for the discovery of other structures like it. China's deep sea and deep earth exploration technology is world class, and the discovery will not only further advance the development of related exploration technology, but also serve as a way for the country to showcase its advanced technology to the world. Lin Bakyang, director of the Center for Energy Economics Research at Xiamen University, told the Global Times. Even as international oil prices rise, Lin said the newly discovered gas field should help China fulfill the growing need for power at home. We have accelerated the pace to explore in deep waters, targeting the discovery of large and medium-sized oil and gas fields, said Zhou Xinhuai, CEO of the company. Quote, CNOC has always emphasized geological theory and technological research to make breakthroughs and to bolster our efforts in reserves and production growth, end quote. Based on the information provided by CNOC, the Bao Dao 211 can be found roughly 150 kilometers from the Deep Sea No. 1, China's independently produced super-duper oil field. According to Xinhua News Agency, since Deep Sea No. 1 went online on June 25, 2021, it has extracted over 2 BCM of natural gas. China has made great strides in a short period in expediting marine research, and this discovery is the most significant advance in the Songnan Baodao area in more than five decades. The new Baodao 211 gas field is found in the deep sea southeast of Hainan Island. In addition to drilling deeper than 5,000 meters, the maximum operational water depth also exceeds 1,500 meters. CNOC reported that the Bao Dao 21 gas field is located in Bao Dao Sag, Qiangdongnan Basin, Western South China Sea. The water depth ranges from 660 to 1,570 meters. The main gas bearing layer is the Paleogene Lingshui Formation, and the discovery is condensate gas reservoirs. The discovery well Bao Dao 21 was completed at a hole depth of 5,188 meters, encountering 113 meters of pay zone. The well is tested to produce an average of 587,000 cubic meters of natural gas per day. Chinese governmental bodies reviewed the discovery and certified the proven in place of natural gas and condensate oil at over 50 billion cubic meters and 3 million cubic meters, respectively. About 150 kilometers separate it from the ultra deep water gas field known as Shenhei No. 1. It has been said that marine geological structures are incredibly intricate. The Business Angle Following the announcement of a significant discovery at its crude oil and natural gas project in the South China Sea, the stock price of Hainan Mining jumped by the daily limit. Hainan Mining is an oil field developer sponsored by Chinese conglomerate Fosun International. 
The Changjiang-based firm also noted that the drilling experiments had produced an exceptionally productive oil flow of more than 1,000 barrels per day. Rock Oil, an Australian oil and gas company, and CNOC entered into a partnership agreement for the block in 2015, and Rock Oil now owns 50% of the project. Fasun International sold 51% of Rock Oil to Hainan Mining in 2019, and Fasun now owns a majority share in Hainan Mining. Rock Oil and CNOC would submit reserves to government agencies in the early stages of oil field development based on data collected from exploratory wells. Chinese oil and gas companies are increasing their exploratory efforts as the peak energy season approaches. More than 50 billion cubic meters of proved reserves were found in the waters southeast of Hainan Island, which CNOC disclosed on October 19. The day prior, Sinopec announced the finding of around 387.8 billion CBM of shale gas in the Sichuan Basin. Founded in 2007, Hainan Mining's interests include iron ore mining, oil and gas exploration, and commodity trading. The firm's first half revenue grew 34% from a year earlier to CNY 2.7 billion, $372.7 million US while net profit declined 24% to CNY $437 million due to rising operational costs, its financial report indicated. Conclusion As the globe shifts to renewable energy sources, the International Energy Agency predicts that carbon fuels use will peak or stabilize in the following years. This is encouraging news in light of the upcoming 27th United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP27, which will discuss the, quote, potential of innovation and clean technologies, end quote, to resolve global warming. However, the fact of the rocks and resources needed to develop these green technologies is often at odds with their promise. Countries like China and private companies are driving the agenda for deep-sea mining to retrieve polymetallic nodules from the bottom of the ocean. They claim these potato-sized nuggets, loaded with precious cobalt, nickel, fuel fossils and other battery metals, could be the answer to a more sustainable future for humanity.